Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Senior Consultant here at Western Computers. I'm going to talk about auto draft payments. Now, a lot of people have been asking me recently how to handle payments that they have set up with their vendors that are just auto drafted right out of their bank accounts. So you'll see them from my prior videos of AP check payments, AP electronic payments. We pull those in automatically into the payment journal look them over, review them, print out a check or generate a file and then post them. What AutoDraft can do, we could set up the system for AutoDraft to say, well, every time I post an invoice into the system, it's gonna automatically close out and pull that money out of your bank account. Not technically, but the system will actually see it as such. So that way you could use it for bank reconciliation. So as the bank is pulling it out automatically within your bank and to, to your vendor, we need to record that in the system. So how to record that in the system is an easy setup when it comes to that vendor. So let's take a look on the vendor record. So if I select a vendor, I already have one set up. I believe if I go to non publishings and it's actually, like I mentioned, a very quick and simple setup. I could set up a payment method code. In this case, I called it auto draft. And within that auto draft, if I go into the details of that code, all I'm simply going to say is anytime I put a payment method code of auto draft on my vendor record, then I want it to automatically balance and offset to my bank account and which bank account, in this case, checking. So based on this code, this one simple code, I'm going to have every invoice, AP purchase invoice that I post is going to automatically balance off to my bank account, checking account. So let's take a look at that. And again, I set this up on the vendor record if I want it to always be this way. It's a standard default. I don't have to put it on the vendor record as a default. I could leave that empty or with maybe a standard check payment, or I could change it on the invoice by invoice basis. So again, we're gonna take a look at this. So let me get out. So if I'm on my vendor list, this is one way of creating a vendor's invoice. I'm gonna to go to new document, purchase invoice, because I'm gonna create that expense invoice because I have to record that expense. So for not publishing, I'm going to put in my posting date, which is just say it will be today. Due date automatically defaults based on the payment terms, but I'll just replace it with the same date. My vendor's invoice number. And then I need to record my expense. So expense is typically GL account. And I'm going to look for utilities, something simple. There we could recognize one and let's just do eight hundred dollars so now what i'm going to do with this invoice is i'm recording the expense of eight hundred dollars to my utilities i'm creating the ap but i'm also gonna because based on my setup and if i scroll down a little bit here you'll see my payment method here is auto draft and this came in from the vendor record but if I didn't set up an event record, I could easily replace it and change it on an invoice by invoice basis. So for one reason, if I wanted to go payment on account, I could change it on account for this one invoice. But then when I create the next invoice, it's because that default is set to auto draft, it's going to come in on the next invoice as auto draft. So you could change any field on a vendor's invoice on an invoice by invoice basis. But because we said, no, every time I deal with this vendor, it's always going to be auto draft. So I'm going to keep it as auto draft. So now I got my expense of $800, got my vendor's invoice number, I got my invoice date. I'm going to go to post it and so the invoice has been posted. I don't really want to see it, so I'm going to say no. But what I do want to see is when I go into this vendor, I do want to actually see the details. I want to go into the history, if you will. So I go navigate history, ledger entries to show you what it did. So here is my invoice. Let me scroll over. And you see my payment method of auto draft. 
So there's eight hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. So what it actually did, these first two lines, let me just highlight them for you, of eight hundred dollars. You see, on post on eight thirty one, I have an invoice of eight hundred dollars, and I have my offset payment of it of eight hundred dollars. As I posted the invoice for eight hundred dollars, it also automatically created a payment line for the auto draft of eight hundred dollars. So now that invoice, I recorded the expense, but I also recorded the AP, closed out the AP, and took it out of my bank account. This is showing you the details of the vendor ledger entry. And let's just check one other thing just to confirm. So if I go into my bank account, just to be sure that it came out of my bank account for proper recording, I'm going to go into my balance. If I drill down into my balance, it gives me basically my ledger entries. And you'll see right here, here's my $800. So as far as the system goes, it recorded the negative $800 for the payment recorded the expense of $800 to your expense account, and it actually created the offset up to your AP account, created the payable and then the offset right away, all at the same time while posting the invoice. So you see the setup is quite easy and the recording is even easier. Thanks for spending the time watching. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.